Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how you can do the pre-processing to medical imaging, but in volumes. Because we know in medical imaging, there is 2D images and there, we can say 2D files, not images. But there are 2, 2D files and there are 3D files. When I say 2D files, like I am talking about DCOM images, or maybe you are you are, you have already JPEG or PNG images. You have already converted your DCOMs into JPEG or PNG. And for the 3D images or 3D files, there are the NIFTs. NIFTs are a volume file that contains uh, two, 2D slices, which are DCOMs. So if you have a group of DCOMs like 100 uh, slices or something. You put them all together and create one volume, which is a nifty file. Like this one, for example. This is a software that will show you the volumes, nifty volumes. So this is one nifty volume that contained 128 slices. All the slices were decoms file, decom files, and I converted them into one nifty file. If you don't know how to do this, I will link the video in the description so you can do it later. Now, I will tell you what we will use to do this uh, this pre-processing. I am sorry from now, maybe the video will take long, maybe it will be 20 minutes or something. But I have I will tell you everything you need to know to do this pre-processing. So to do this pre-processing, we will use a free uh, a open source called Monai. It is based on PyTorch. So I use this Monai uh, framework for my in you in my internship when i was doing this uh, tumor segmentation in medical imaging so it was very very helpful for that i want to present it to you maybe it will be helpful for you too because you will see that in volumes maybe if you want to do the pro processing using the the old way like numpy or uh, pytorch or some uh, not yes or, or pytorch or some any uh, library to do this pre processing Maybe it will be a little bit harder because you are not working with 2D files, but using this monile, it will make life very easier. They are not paying me to say that because I used it and I liked it for my job, for that I want to present it to you. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is to install it. And as I told you, this uh, open source is based on PyTorch. So if you will use PyTorch for your uh, project, like segmentation of or classification or anything like this, you will need to do this. Uh, you will you will use this Monai while you are using PyTorch. Okay, for me, I used it for image segmentation. So I will show you how you can do the pre-processing for the image segmentation, like the image with the mask. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is to install Monai uh, library. To install it, we can install it like any other libraries. Uh, so you have just to type pipe. Pip, sorry, pip, ins install Monai like this. I have already installed it, so I don't need to install it again. But what I will recommend you about this library with PyTorch, etc., you need to install also PyTorch and PyTorch Vision and all these libraries. I think that you have already know how to do this part of installation. Just about Monai, I am telling you that you need to install it as well. But what I will tell you about this, preferably in my experience, you need to use a virtual environment like Con uh, Conda environment or any other virtual environment. Then you need to work or to install this library and all your work in this virtual environment. Because if you will install this library directly in your system, maybe sometimes it will not work and it will cause some problems. So preferably you need to install it in a virtual environment than if you will get any other problems or something, you delete it directly. Okay. So after that, you create a virtual environment and install this uh, library, Molai library. Now we will start uh, putting our code. So the first thing that you will need to do is to open your files, okay? To open your files, we will need, maybe we we'll use only some uh, old like OS library and uh, globe library and all these libraries. Okay, so we need to uh, import them first. So we'll import, I don't know what I can type today so import os then 
from globe import globe like this okay we will need these two libraries at first then we will add the others okay because i don't like to put all the libraries directly then i will work for them so i want to import each library when we will need it then we we'll add new here by the way i am using jupyter notebook extension in the visual studio code but you can use any uh, text editor or software you want okay everything will work so here we will import these two libraries i will just run them then here what we will need we will as, as for my case i have here four uh, for i i will not talk about these but we need these two uh, these four folders one for the data training data and one for the training labels for this data and the validation data and the validation labels labels are the masks i like this okay and now what we have to do we'll import all these uh, files or all, all these images okay now to do this at first before importing them or doing anything we need just to define them like creating parts or something of each file because you will see that using Monai, it is very easy. You will just give them the, the parts of each file like this, for example, the parts of this file like this, and you define the functions or the operations that you want to, to apply, and it will be done directly. You don't need to use the Nibabel library or everything is included in Monai, okay? So what you will do, the first thing is just to precise which are the files or which are the images of the training and the images of the validation and the same thing for the masks training and validation okay now what we will do and as i told you we the first thing is that to 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 bet the path so here we have data directory then if i remember here i will just take it from here this is the main path for me you need to change these for the string to not cause the problems after like this okay so here is the part of our data which contains the four folders the training and validation data and labels okay now what we will do is to define the parts of the training images and training labels so here we have train images like this so here what we can do as we said we have this main part then we have the folders so for each part of data we will get the main part which is this one the first one here then we will add to it the name of the folder which is for example data here we will need here we have train images so we need the train data which is for the images then we will add to them or we will link to them all these files so here what we will do we have here os which is the library os then that path that join so this uh, i think that you have already used this so path that uh, os dot path that join will join any two or three paths that we will give so if i will give it here a uh, then b for example it will create a new part which contains a and b or a slash b okay so for our case we have this is the main part which is the first one so here we have data the directory then the second one is the name of the folder so what we will do here if we have this folder like this one training data so if we will write the name of the folder here then this function will create a new part which is this one slash the name of the folder sorry if i am talking about some basic stuff but maybe some of you doesn't use them haven't used them before so it will be in general so here we will add the name of the folder which is train data i think this is the name yeah train data so now this function we will print it here if I will do print then train images, you will see that we have the main part, which is this one, slash the train data. So we created a new file, or we created a new part which contains this one, the main plus the name of the training data. Now what we need to do, we need to add all these files. 
which this one here in the training data we have all these files so we need to create a link for each file or for each patient here so to do this the first thing is that we'll do everything here this star means everything that and i i dot g z what does it mean so all the files in this folder train data that has the extension that nii which is nifty and in my case the 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 files are compressed so they have the extension dot gz if you don't have this uh, this extension if your files are not uh, compressed so you can take this out okay but if you your files are compressed like mine so you need to add this dot gz okay now after doing this this function it will do just join but what we need to do we need a list that has all the paths for all these files so to do this now it comes the role of this globe function so this globe function will take this here this globe function which will take this part which is this one slash training uh, train data which we which we put here then everything that and ii.gz and create a path for each file so it will create a path for this one and this one and this one and create a list which contains all these we'll do it here like i would just control x i will take them so here we have globe then in globe we put our path so in globe the parameter is this uh, this path is this global path plus training plus everything that's an ii.gz okay now if i will print it here you will see that we have a list of patients 0 0 2 0 3 0 4 etc etc so now it is okay we don't need anything else the same we will do the same thing for the, the training labels and the validation data validation labels okay so i will take this here like this then labels like this and for the yeah validation labels and here validation images and of course we need to change them here as well so here we have labels then here validation data and validation labels like this labels yeah so now we have all these if i want to print another one for example if i have here validation or print validation labels like this for example it will be all the labels of of the, the validate because we have the data of the uh, some patients for label i have 10 i think so there is the data and these are the labels for that data so i think here i will delete this output now now after doing this we need there is two ways to use monai i will show you here in the website here is the website of monai if you need to read any documentation and there are some tutorials and now here is the documentation we'll go to the transforms i will just show you something like uh, not purpose like i will do load image so for example this load image this is a function that will load the image we'll talk about it later not now but this function load image it will load the images which will take only the paths we will not give it the paths manually i we will talk about this but this function will take only the paths of the images then it will load them so in this function we know now that it contains it is it is using the library nibabel etc but this function when we will do load image there are, in in Monai there are two ways if you have load if you will see any function like load image and all, all, all the other functions that will do the preprocessing if you will see them just like this without a d at the end means that you are working with dcoms so 
if you want to use decoms like you have volumes but not in one nifty file that you have folders and each folder contain volumes uh, contain decoms so in this case you can use without this uh, you can use another way i will not talk about it now and there is another way that if you have like here you have images labels uh, for training and validation and you want to put them like uh, the pre-processing for this one alone and pre-processing for the for the labels alone so in this case you can use all the functions that doesn't have d at the end but in our case we will use this function that has d what does it mean this d means dictionary dictionary so what does it mean we'll create some dictionaries each dictionary for example we create a training dictionary and validation dictionary so this this dictionary will contain two columns the first column will contain the parts of the data images training images and the second part will uh, second column will contain the parts of the training labels and the same thing for the validation one the one dictionary that contains the uh, the images in one column and the labels in the other column so to do this we will use the simple dictionary in uh, in how do we call it in in python so the first thing here we have so here we have the training like training files like train files or training files same thing so this train files it will be a list or it will contain this dictionary which this dictionary will contain a lot of lines and two columns like two columns with lines with the number of how many patients you have so in our case we will create it like this because we will create there are a lot of ways to do it we will put it in one line which will, which will be easy here so in this case we will use a for loop that will take each file here from the training for example images and put them in the right column so here what we will do we we'll put this like this and here we will create our uh, our columns okay then the lines of course they will be the files so the columns will be like there is the image and there is the label so here we have like this sorry sorry something like this and here we have the image here which will this is the keyword image that will contain the files here like image name okay image name is the file that we will use it after you will see in the loop for for loop then this image file will go in the column uh, with the name image then we will do the same thing with the label so here we have label then here and we can use the one uh, this one we can use first one one uh, one quotation mark or we can use two there is no problem with that so here we have label then the label name okay so now what we have created we have created like 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 a table like here we have a table like this and we have two columns the first column will take the images and the second column will take the labels and all the patients will be in the rows okay now after defining two the two names what we will do we will create a for loop that will go in this list list because this list contains the, the the parts we have printed this so we'll take each each part from here and put it at the same uh, at the exact uh, row so the first patient here the first patient like here it will be the first row of the image and it's uh, label from this data from the train label so it will be in, at the same row but in the second column which is labeled but before doing this we need to do something because if we sometimes one python load the 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 parts maybe you it will not uh, put them at the same uh, order here like patient 2 patient 3 etc so to avoid this problem what we can do we can add the function sorted so to sort always the like this to sort always the parts with the with the exact names so it will always take this order patient 2 3 4 5 etc so if you really get any problem with your pre-processing and you will print the index of your your and you will know the index of your uh, your your date or your patient or your file then in this case you will go and search for it here so preferably you need to use this sorted so that you will sort all the files 
with the exact uh, order in your folder in there so here the same thing sorted and here the part of this one and here as well sorted then sorted okay now as i told you what we will do we'll do we we'll create a for loop in one line that will go uh, through all these files which are parts and put them in the same in the exact folder uh, in the exact row so here we have four for i am not writing now so for image name so now we are using this image name so for image name in the files or here and yet yeah, same thing for the image name and same thing here for the label name for the image name and the label name these two uh, these two columns like we will go in the first row we will put this the exact patient with this exact data and the exact label so for image name and label name now here where we will find this to these two of image name and find them from this train data train label and uh, validation data and validation label but there is something when i told you that i am using the compressed files so we need to decompress them so to decompress them we need to use this function zip like this so this function zip will decompress the files from the from our uh, from our database so what we will put here in this the zip function the list of the training images and the training labels so the training images and training labels why i am saying training because here we have training files so here training images so we have training image then train labels like this so now what we will do this function will take the files from it will this function zip will take this files from this uh, from each line because we are doing four so it will go to the first one and to the and the second one etc etc and every line it uh, and every patient it will decompress the file and put it at this at the exact row so the first patient it will go here the here the data and here the label and same thing for the others okay okay so we will do the same thing for the uh, for the validation files i think here i forget in because here we have for file image name image layer label name in the uh, the decompressed files here and we'll do the same thing for the control c for the validation here so what we will do we have uh, the image name the same thing here we will do the same and here we have validation and the same here validation okay when we will run it there is no problem with this what we can do maybe we can uh, print any of these to see to, to get an idea about this now if i want to print the whole the, the whole this one for example the whole print if i will print the file the training file like this it will be a large dictionary with two columns like here i will do train files like this so you can see we will get this great table like this we have the image keyword image then the the, the part of the first uh, patient then the same thing for the other one there is something like the image yeah then the label here and it's label like this yeah this is the, the, the then here the, the, the keyword label then the uh, the path of the label and the same thing for the second passing it will be image and label image and label etc etc okay now here is our uh, our data that we are using for now we have only defined the the data at the path of each patient and we put them on a dictionary after after this uh, step what we will do we'll try we will start doing the pre-process i will delete this now now we will start doing the pre-process 
What we will do, as I told you, this using this Monai function, it will be very easy. We will give it only this uh, two dictionaries, which are the paths of the of each patient with the, with its uh, with its label. Then this fun the functions that we will define will do the same process for both for the images for the images yes and the labels. And as I told you, in Monai there there is another way to do them. Separately, you can do the pre-process to the labels alone and to the images alone. But I don't see this very, very good way because if you will do the same pre-process to both of them, maybe in some cases you will, you need to do only in the images. But don't worry about this because in each patient, in each function we will use to do a pre-process, we need we we need to give the keys. Like if you know you want to apply the transformations in only the images or only the labels or both okay now let's get started with the images with the pre-process so to do the pre-process there there are there is a function called compose so this function compose what we'll do so if you have two or three multiple functions or multiple processes transformations that you want to apply at the same patient or yes at the same patient or all at the same data in this case you need you can do you can do them separately. You can pass the the, the patient to an, to a function. Then the output of this function you put it as an input to the second function, etc. But this is not professional and it will take a lot of time, maybe. But using this compose function, it will combine all the transformations. So you in this inside this compose function, you will put all the. Uh, all the functions or all the transformations that you want to apply at the patients so it will combine them and apply them directly without any uh, manual stuff so this function is we need to include import it here now it is the time uh, to use to import some monai the first thing we need to import torch like this because as i told you all the functions that are inside monai are used by by torch so we need to you to import torch here, but we we not we will not need it after after this. But we need, we need to import it here. We have import torch. Then we will import this compose function that I was talking about. So from monai that transforms, which are the transforms that we want to apply here, we will import then the compose like this. Okay. Now I think compose with a uppercase like this so here we have this compose function we will need it now but we need to import more stuff because we need to import the functions or the transformations which are in this same uh, class so we need to import these transformations that we will apply to our function so our uh, data so in Monai there, or in, in every case you are using medical imaging, there are some uh, transformations that you need to do explicitly and there are others that are optional. We'll start by the, the transform that you need to do explicitly, then we we'll go to the others. The first thing that you will, there are the, in the functions that you will apply to in, in Monai, there is the first one is, I will just here write uh, comment, like we need to load the images this is the first thing that you will to, you will do because as i told you these lines are just defining the paths of patients and putting them in a dictionary but there is no loading per case or process here and uh, anything so we need to load them but we will not i am just telling you but we will not do this manually we will not use nibabel or something but the steps are we need to load the image then we need to do any pre-process like uh, do any uh, transformation or transforms like this then after doing all the transforms that you want to do we need to convert these uh, patients into a torch tensors because if you will do a training uh, yeah a training or deep learning training uh, with um, with PyTorch, so you need the inputs needs to be uh, torch uh, torch sensors. So here in Monai there are some functions. There is the function to do this, but we, I will write here need to convert them into torch tensors like this. So these are the principal steps. 
we need to load the image do any transform we know we want then at the end of all the transforms we need to convert the final image or the final patient into a torch tensor okay so let's do this here step by step now the first thing here as i told you we will create new data so we need a variable to uh, store them so i can i will give it here train like transforms, transforms like this so train transforms then in the train transforms we will do all these transformations but as i told you we'll use this compose function which will be like this so this compose function will allow us to apply multiple functions or multiple transformations at the same time so to do this it will be like this here now inside what is this inside these brackets we will apply all the functions that we want so as i told you there is the first step here is to load the images yes so to load the images we will use a function in monai called load image and as i i was saying here in the in the here in the documentation i told you about this load image so that is load image and that is load image d load image d for dictionary and in our case we are using dictionaries so we need to use load image d so before that we need to import it before doing this we will use a uh, lot we will import a lot of uh, functions here so i prefer using this now we'll put the first which is compose so load image and as i told you we will use d so we can we need to add D and here the comma, the same thing here. So load image D means that we will we'll use this function to load images, but from a dictionary and not only files. Okay. So here we have load image D, which is dictionary. Then inside this function, there are just some, uh, some keywords or some parameters that we need to do but the only one that we will need exactly is the keys keys we will use this parameter in all the transformations because as i told you there are some transformations that we can do we can apply only in the images and there are we can apply only in the labels and there are others that we need to apply in both in the images and labels so we will load the image means that we will load the image and label so we need to load them both so in this case, we will do here the keywords or the keys of our dictionary are here. Uh, if you remember, we have two keys, which are the names of the columns. The, we have the image and we have the label. Okay. So what we will put here, as I told you, we can use a single one or or uh, or, or two, uh, two quotation marks. There is no problem with this. Okay. So we can use this or this. No problem. Okay, I prefer using this because <laughs> easy, but you can do, you can use any one you want. There is no problem with this. So as I told you, we'll load the image, the keyword image and the keyword label. Means that we will load the whole layer, the whole column. But in this this function will work only in one uh, when we create all these. Means that we are talking about only one patient, only one row. But if when in the data loader there will be a for uh, a for loop which will go in all the rows of the of the dictionary so here we are talking about only one row but using the for loops inside the data loader it will load all the uh, rows or which means all the patients now we have load image d here all, all what we need is this uh, the training uh, the image and the label then here as we said the second uh, thing that we have to do is the transformations we we'll left this at the end because we have a lot of things to talk about these transformations but as i told you after doing any transformation we need to convert the image into a torch tensor which is this one the same thing there is a function in uh, in monai to do this work for you so this function is called to tensor like this but you need to, to add d for dictionary as i told you in our case we are using the dictionary so 
all the functions that we will use we need to add d for dictionary only this one because this one is is not applying into the images but it is combining all the functions so there is only one compose okay let's go here now as i told you after applying anything we need to convert it into tensor so here to tensor d okay now the same thing we need to give the keys as i said you we need to give them always and of course we need to uh, to convert the, the data which is the images and labels okay we cannot convert only the images so in this case we'll get only the images and labels will stay here <laughs> okay now these are the principal transformations that we will do and the same thing for the validation we can just copy this then the same here validation okay that's it this is the basic thing now there is some now we will start doing the transformations the first transformation that we, i will start with and i recommend you to do it always is to add a channel so if you have already used deep learning for 2d images like for classification or anything in the pre-process in normal images like not medical images normal images like cats or dogs or something in this case you need always you add a channel like you have rgb and you need always a fourth channel for example this channel will take or the fourth dimension in your array so this dimension will control how many batches you have so after this step when we will create the data loader we need to specify how many batches we want for our input for each input we will need one patient two patients three patients or anything you want depending to your memory and how many patients you have okay but you need to add a dimension that will control how many batches you have okay so in this case in in when you when you, you do this um, you do deep learning with normal images like 2d rgb images in this case you can use OpenCV or something to do to add this dimension here in monai there is a function predefined to use uh, directly to do this work it is called already add channel so we will add it here channel and of course we need to add d because we are working with dictionaries now we will use it here remember with me this function or this step which is to tensor will be this the last function to apply because if you will apply a transform here after it so what you will apply here will not be converted into tensor otherwise it will give you a an error if you apply anything after this tensor because it is not normal you you convert the function or the passage into tensor then you want to apply something so in this case it will not apply and it will give you an error so if you want to try it try it okay but it will not work now as i told you we need to apply the function add channel so this add channel not a function a class so this function this class will apply will uh, create a new dimension or it will add a new dimension to your uh, vector so your your yeah to your uh, array so I will give you an idea here if you have for our cases for our case i have the patient with 512 by 512 by 128 512 is the width and 512 is the height and 128 is the how many slices i have so each patient in my date in, in my data set has these dimensions 512 512 but for the width and for 512 for the height and 128 for the uh, slices what this function add channel will do it will add a new dimension here for example one so this function if we will use this dimension if we will use only one batch size so this one it will be always one okay the end with the index zero of course but the length of this uh, of this uh, dimension will be always one because we are using only one uh, only one uh, batch size if we are using two it will be two three etc so what we will do we need to add it in i will delete this we need to add this function here to add a new dimension that will be fill after in the data loader so here we have a channel d which is this one and of course here now we have the keys of course and the same thing for this uh, function as well 
we'll add a channel for the, the image and for the label because it will be applied for both of them we need to because the, the image and its label will load will be loaded and will we, we will control the batch size of each one of the, of them so we need to give them or to add to them a new dimension same thing so here we have image then we have label like this okay so all what we need to do is this and the same thing for the validation control c and control v so this is this is the the, um, the basic thing that we can apply to our images we can do we will go to the data process to to data loader and we will try to print or not to print to upload some uh, some patients or one patient something like this we will see what will happen here if we can load them exactly or not so here i will just run it to see if there is any problem it's not defined compose maybe i didn't run this yeah i just run it again yeah now everything is correct what we will do we will create the data loader for our images so here the same thing in pytorch you will see if you have already used pytorch which could before so it will be the same thing so what we will do we have train ds which is data set so there is a function called data set this uh, data set you can find this in pytorch and it is there is a moli version so this data set uh, this data set function or class will take in parameter the uh, files the like here we are talking about training so it will take the training files in parameter and the training transformations and it will combine them and it, which means it will apply uh, the transformations in the transforms into the files directly and that's what i was talking about you don't need to do any for loop or anything to go for all the patients or everything will be done here in this line and the other one so this one will combine them before that we need to define this function it is here in monai the in the data function of monai so from monai dot data import there is the function data loader the not data set like this that's what we will need this data set we will need also data loader i will add it here data loader we we'll use it in the lane in the line after so as i told you we have the data set like this there are a lot of parameters that you can play with but the principal ones that we will need we need and what i use in my project you need all only the the, the batch side only the sorry not the batch side you need only the files training or validation files and each transforms so here we are talking about the training so we need to give the training files and we need to give the training uh, uh, transforms so here what we have the data that then here train train file okay then the transforms that we want to apply in the training data as the here we have transforms like this then here the train transforms so we will apply the training transforms in the training file okay this is easy i think it is we can understand that so this is the transforms which are the training transforms which will be applied in the training file then we define it what we want to apply and the type of data that we want to apply now we will load it so what we will do we have train loader if you have already used uh, pytorch we see that this is very familiar so we have here say the, the, the train loader so we have data loader what's this data loader so here what we have now what we, we want to do we will apply which are which is the data set that we have here is the data set that we got so it will be the first parameter here so train ds like this which is train data set then now there even here there are a lot of parameters that we can apply but 
for now I don't need them I need only one uh, only this uh, parameter and second one which is the batch size so the batch size The batch size here it will you can put anything you want so if you have small data and you have a good ram you can put two three it depends to your case for my case i will use only one batch size so the input will be only one patient with 128 uh, slices okay now if we will run it there is a problem is not defined yeah so this is the problem with jupyter notebook you have always to run if you include something otherwise it will not work so we will do the same thing with the validation data set like this and here we have validation data set and here we have the validation files the same thing for the validation transforms validation files is not defined why ah here I forget to change it. This is the problem of copy, copy and paste. So here we run it again to not have problem. Now we have this. Yes, we have this validation files and validation transforms. And here the same thing. We have validation data sets and here validation loader. Okay, so this is what we will do. Now we have loaded all the data. Now what we can do, we can start printing or doing anything with data. I will stop this video here because I think it is going very long. I didn't expect that. So I will stop it here and in the next video we will complete this work. So I see you in the next video. Bye bye.